Yo, what's up, guys? In the last video, we finished off at 1727 Grand Champ 3 Division 1. So we got about 130, 140-ish ELO to get up to SSL. So, yeah, it's going to be the hardest rank that we've played in for sure, getting our way up to finishing up the series. So we'll see how it goes. Everyone's getting pretty good mechanically, getting pretty consistent positionally as well. It's going to be fun to see. Let's get into the games. All right, for the first game, we got... Oh, everyone in here is still GC2. Interesting. They're playing a stack. I'm the highest rank in here. GC2 by a little bit, like basically GC3, but. Nice. We're gonna go for the bump on him. But you already see kind of the difference in consistency between the GC3s that we played to a little bit lower ELO. Like it actually makes a huge difference. It's crazy the ELO gap. Skill, the skill differences in this game, based on the ranks, are, is pretty crazy. Because that miss wouldn't happen in GC3 at all, I don't think. There was an awkward ball from him, but you just don't really see it. Unless it was just genuinely a mistake, which it might have been. So there's going to be pretty quiet. I'm going to go back as quick as I can here. To be in support. Let's flick. Here for shot. I place it behind them as well. Played. Really good flick and pass. Yeah, they're partied up. Playing the partied up players, getting into like, once we get to 1800 and we're getting close to SSL, it's going to be tough to play the partied up players, I think. So that's when they're probably in comms, probably making a really big difference. Yeah, I'm trying to lock in a lot more now. How I'm playing, getting into GC3. This is basically like really low tier SSL. So I want to try to position more aggressively, less team, what I'm doing. Try to punish for mistakes a little bit more. Try to make them throw away the ball. I'm still following the same, the same ideas that I've been talking about the whole series, but I'm doing it at a little bit of a quicker pace now. Something that I'd probably be doing all the way up into getting SSL. Big shot here. Try to get... Clean possession with the boost. We get a temp. It's a good challenge for my teammate. I'm gonna take pattern two and try to just be ready. I'll go for the boost now. A little bit of improv. Uh oh. <laughs> so yeah, I mean the idea wasn't bad. Taking it across wasn't bad. The bounce was straight in. And then what happened was I didn't flip. So I didn't actually like flip here. I think I was just holding left and my wheels came off the wall. So it makes me flip as soon as my wheels came off the wall. Kind of funny though. That was genuinely just a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> the playing it back there is actually a good play. I don't think that's a bad play. The bounce was poor. And then the the post the post flip isn't what we want here at all, but Hey mistakes happen. Mistakes definitely happen, especially in a game like this where things are changing super quick. Very easy to make mistakes. That's funny though. Talking about improv real quick and then it's just in my net. That wasn't too crazy at all, just an air dribble basically. Just the hardest part about this was the first touch was really good. I'll play a back wall and then just wait back wall if I can. Cover as many options as I possibly can. I can't reach that one though. Might be rough. I don't got any boost. A little zap dash. Can you cut that? Good save. Good job. You always want to try to keep some boost after you make a solo play. It's something that I haven't really been focusing on too much. I don't think anyone in this rank is doing it that much. It's more of like a pro thing. That way you can recover a little bit quicker. But 
You definitely want to try to keep some boost. I'm going to go for like a double tap, for example. Trying to use as little boost as possible. That way you can be able to like turn around and go again. Having 30 boost is more than enough to recover with, usually. Did I pass my teammate? Double tap. Shot. Save as well. Patience. And fake cha. Try to hide behind the ball. Now it's going to make him flick. Save. Just going to wait. I did a good job. That's a big boost too. I'm going to grab some pads now. It's the pad line I usually take. Just taking the back middle ones. Got to watch the bump though. Yeah. The bump is what makes that difficult. Without the bump, it's pretty easy to save. But that's well played from them. And he took a slow dribble. I dodged the bump well, but getting out of the bump and getting the save is pretty tough there. Wait, what a pass. Oh my gosh, but that was perfect. I was trying to shoot, I'll be honest, but it went perfectly to him. Holy. That was really good. Wonder if he hasn't ever gotten off a ball. Dude, everyone's so mad in this game. <laughs> Why is everyone so mad? I, I think I'm telling you, it's that want. It's that like that aspiration to go pro. But then if you if you want that so bad and you expect that, losing anything feels like trash. Because if you're losing in this rank, it just feels like I don't know. I, th I think that's what it is, man. It's like that mentality of like you put too much expectation on yourself and then you get really upset if you lose. Which I could relate to that. My whole pro career, I've always tried to be the best player I could possibly be, right? So, losing to any team definitely hurts, but my reaction isn't toxicity, usually it's just sadness. <laughs> usually I react. Do you like there's no skill? It's just chase. That's a stretch. Well, oh, it's so good. <laughs> good luck. Alright. Good first game there. Up to 17, 38. I'm gonna go for the ball. Kind of fun, like trolling like that a little bit. And they're toxic. They have no idea they're talking to someone that's already kind of beat Rocket League in terms of the, the competitive scene. Pinch. Okay. Take this back left. I'll let him go first. It's fine. He rolled it toward me. It's not my teammate's ball anymore. Should go still in to block this. Get in there. Take a some spade. Nice. Look at the consistency on the shots. Everyone's in the right right place, right time. We're playing a 1768 player, so he's actually pretty close to SSL himself. Play get a flip early. Play it over one. <laughs> Didn't want to really like get a second flip there. I haven't seen anyone go for a double reset, but I think getting a flip into like an air dribble is fair. I think it's reasonable. You're seeing that a lot more now. A bump into a... This is why you have to not leave your teammate back. 
for so long. Like that that's I don't want to blame my teammate, but that definitely is a mistake on my teammate. If your teammate's getting in a 1v2 situation, getting dribbled like that, you're going for Spanish, wow. All right, we're seeing a lot of the SSL strats come out. My teammate did a great job though, I got out of it. But you don't want to leave your teammate in a 1v2 for very long, if you can, right? But it is sometimes unavoidable. Sometimes the other team just played it really well. They might have done that there. Didn't exactly see the situation from my teammate's perspective, but... You always want to aim to not let that be the case. My teammate did a great job there. Fake stays on it. Perfect. That's perfect. And there will be some times where you're stuck in a 1v2 and you just have to stall and try to play it in a way like that. Like I'm in a 1v1 for a second there, but played him into the corner. Look at the pre-jumps, man. Everyone's pre-jumps got so good. The defense has gotten like, like really, really good. I think is the biggest thing that people have gotten way better at. Like when someone's air dribbling, their ability to pre-jump and like actually stay on the ball is super good. Play this off the wall for my teammate instead of going for shot and then go for the bump instead. Play it to the back corner. I get a touch and then I get the flip after the touch. I'm just fake. Go for a bump. Nice. Look at Spade, man. Right place, right time. Just taking control of the ball there. Not going for a flip, not going for anything crazy. I'm just trying to keep the ball close, threaten that flip that I have. It's pretty important to always have that flip to threaten when you're getting to the higher ranks like this. Likely, we're going to be playing a lot of players that have been SSL before uh, on GC3. But they've lost it or they don't care too much about rank anymore, whatever it may be. There's going to be a lot of different situations, but. As we get higher into GC3, like especially into the 1800s, we're we'll gonna be playing a lot of players that are probably in and out of uh, SSL every single day, honestly. Nice, good spade. Good job from spade. Yeah, I'm just hoping we can finish the series before the season's up. Did a really good job faking that. That is the right play every time there. And both people, both of us are blocking. Try to go for the bump. Wait for his flip. He used his flip to go down to the ground, so he has no more threat anymore. He gave up the threat to get control there, which is fine. It's not necessarily a bad play, especially if you get quick control and you can get an instant flip. That is clear to the side. I should be able to get this mid boost. You make a probably jump for this. Seeing a lot of little SSL things come out, like the Spanish kickoff where the cheater uh, gets bumped on your team. Like them going for that is very surprising to me. I didn't know that that reached GC3, honestly. Nice. I meant to make go. He made it really good this game with his consistency on his shooting. He was there whenever I created a good opportunity. I'm just gonna wait. I won't go on for a bit here. Wow. <laughs> Alright, well, it's not what I expected out of him, I'll be honest. He just. He's making a play toward the net. He just goes for the boost. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't seen that. I do not see that usually. Um, that was a good play, though. I mean, it worked. Might have to steal that one. Caught me off guard. Just completely dipped on the ball. And then he gets a really good shot though, so... Definitely worked out. I just play into a spot where you can't get a great touch. My teammate should have a decent advantage in winning that. Nice challenge. Double commitment, try to bump him. I back flipped into him, it might not be enough still. Yeah, it's not. All right, we trolled a bit toward the end of this game. I think if we don't double commit, I think I'm scoring that, I'm pretty sure. 
I'm gonna bump a little bit in there. But I'll try to just play this kickoff smart. I'm gonna watch for the Spanish. So there's a guy staying in that. He is, so I'm just gonna stay close. Yeah, so I had a feeling they'd go for that because I went for it earlier. <laughs> nice, I have no boost. Just try to force him. Be awkward. Nice. <laughs> Said okay. What does he want me to do? <laughs> you want me to just let him marry Google? All right. All right. Good second game. Let's play one more for today. We're up. Up pretty good. Up pretty good. It's a 17.49 now. And SSL is 18.75. So we're about 125 points away. Let's get one more in though. All right. Last game. All right, playing a few players that are DC3, one player DC2. I'm really trying to take that boost from the opponent. My teammate was going for it. I could have left it for him, but. Try to play a beat here over one. It's gonna bounce down in an awkward spot for the opponent. The teammate's waiting in a pretty good spot. Going to the wall, let's see what he can do. Fakes one touch. I like the little pump fake. Gets a free flip into a flip reset. Okay. Let us go for some bumps here. Ball spilling out middle. Good save. Let's save again from Sheep. I don't think he has much boost. I should make it back. He's going to go for a bump for me right away. So I'm going to miss the shot. As soon as I see that guy going for a bump, I want to try to get in the way of the play. Forcing his touch here. And it's going to be up. Good positioning. Yeah, it really it really just feels like a SSL, like a low SSL lobby with some like extra mistakes thrown in there. It's the best way I can explain these GC3 lobbies. But we're gonna get higher and higher up. We're not really that high up yet. My first touch. I'm gonna stay far right, because the ball is likely to come far right here. Goes for a double reset. Good attempt. Let's like it over one. Touch it middle for my teammate. He wants to be there. i just accelerate that pass. We go mid. I'm gonna jump for this. Nice. Pass for my teammate. He said, okay, teammate, what happened? What does teammate do wrong? Wait. He's going for the squishy save. How did his teammate make a mistake there? Am I gonna do all? <laughs> oh man, this rank is crazy. Honestly, I'd be stressed playing ranked in this rank. It's nowhere near as bad as like the Call of Duty lobbies though. But everyone's just so tense. All right, this air dribble's not really doing much, I'll be honest. What the? <laughs> nice touch, my teammate. He was doing a really good job of getting resets. He must got some good mechanics. I feel like seeing what he's doing is making me want to up the level in which I'm doing things, but I don't want to do too much. Wait, actually a super good save from Sheep. Like I'm, I'm blocking most of the angles here that he can, he can save this ball. I'm going for air dribble bump. He couldn't jump until super late and he almost got it. That was actually extremely difficult. <laughs> nice, I'm gonna go all the way back. Take this opposite boost. Should be open. It's not gonna make it back. Oh. Wait. <laughs> That's it. That's gotta be the game. That has to be the game. That, there's just no coming back from that. I feel like he missed. 
And then <laughs> he's not gonna forfeit. No. Too much pride. Should I go for my teammate? That's in. No way. Good bomb. Try to pass it to him. <laughs> I don't think he expected it. Passing it back to him again. No reason to let them have a free touch there. My teammate go. Soft touch to himself. Gets a reset. Doesn't use it, but he's got that pretty good control. <laughs> All right. Good games for today. GG, GG. Get another 10 points. We're at 17.58. So yeah, we're definitely getting up there. Getting pretty close to uh, 1800 now, which is that final stretch to get toward SSL. But there we there we have it. GC3 Division 2. And honestly, mechanically, I think I'm putting I'm pushing myself to like maybe 50-60% of what I can do. Like maybe 50-60%. So I think getting close to SSL, I have to probably do more, but like my teammate did really well mechanically that game as well. He's doing much more than I'm doing in terms of like how much he's putting in. Um, but if he's doing that at this rank, 1710, 1720-ish, then getting up to 1800 is I think most players will be doing similar to that. So it's gonna feel like an SSL lobby getting into 1800. But yeah, we're pretty high up, pretty close to SSL now. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Leave a like if you are enjoying the video. Please does help out a lot. And leave a comment down below about your thoughts on the series and what else, what else you want to see me doing on YouTube for you guys. And definitely go check out my Twitch stream, streaming every single day from 10 a.m. to like 4 or 5 p.m. Love you guys. Thank you so much for the support on the channel as always. See you on the next one. Peace.